Recently, a professor in the psychology department at the University of North Dakota, Alan King, published an article in the Journal of Human Arenas. It has all the signs of scholarly research, big words, statistics, large sections you can't understand, and footnotes that go on for a mile. What is it about, you ask? It's about you, the Chase community. It's about all of us who can't stop thinking about Forrest Fenn's treasure that's buried somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. For example, King found that 43% of chasers said they cannot get the chase off their mind. He calls it chase behavioral addiction. And even though most don't self-identify as addicted, because, of course, we can all stop whenever we want, 19% said they were sacrificing activities that had once been meaningful to them. 18% said they had lost the ability to limit or discontinue thoughts about the chase. And 27% said they were putting themselves at risk in some way. So, who are we? Well, we're a pretty well-educated bunch, very white, and we spend a lot of time on the chase. About 40% of us do something chase-related every day. Almost a third of us have been at the chase for three or four years. A fourth of us have been hunting for five or six years. And about 20% of us have been at this for seven, eight, nine, even 10 years. Many of us have spent upwards of $10,000. And 11% of us have exceeded the $10,000 mark. One interesting question King asked was whether Forrest Fenn even hid the treasure chest. People were asked, would you say the likelihood is 90% or higher? Among the general public, only 3% say yes. Among searchers, 86%. Not surprisingly, most searchers have a favorable view of Forrest Fenn. But look at this. How do searchers view their own community? Only 6% of us are really in love with the Chase community. I guess that's okay. 35% of us feel generally positive. 3% have a negative view, and 1% has an extremely negative view of their own community. But here's the funny statistic. Over half of us check that box right in the middle. You know, where you don't want to commit one way or the other. It's like, I may like you guys, but you're the competition. Lastly, we are a confident group of people. Sure, there's a big chunk of us, a third, who think their chances are nil to 1%, but 10% of us are 100% sure. Almost a fourth of chasers think the odds of them finding the treasure chest are 90% or greater. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, if you go over to Dr. Alan King's website, you'll see a lot of the standard fare, but you may notice that he's got a hobby that might look familiar. We'll see you on the trail, sir.